Hey, what's going on, people? Hey, this is Pastor Rod again. And you know what? I count it a joy uh, to be back with you again today uh, to share a word, an insight, revelation uh, to something that God has put on my heart or shown me that I know to some degree, some shape or form that we're all dealing with. And uh, but before I get into that, you know what? I want to say thank you guys so much again for watching, sharing, uh, listening to the videos. And uh, it, it, it means a lot. It means definitely means a lot to me. And uh, I'm grateful for that and you all. So uh, thank you again. So, hey, this is the this is the place we want to come from today. Uh, there's a lady that I know and she has a dog in her house and her dog. She realized that the dog didn't respond to English. She would have asked the dog to do something. She would just say, you know, go or sit down or something. But the dog would not respond. So then one day, uh, she, she's a lady of uh, 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 Hispanic descent, Latin nature, uh, whichever you want to call it. And one day she just decided to speak and say something in Spanish. And when she did that, to her surprise, the dog responded. And so she thought it was like a joke, so she tried it again. She said something in English, the dog didn't respond. But she said something in Spanish, and then the dog acted. So you say, well, where are you going with this? You know, the question is, what language are we speaking in the church? What is the language that we're using? Are we using the language of God? Are we using the language of the kingdom? Or are we using our native tongue? Are we using words that people are not going to respond to? Are we using words that are hurting people? Are we using words that are, that are making people timid, that are running them away? Or are we using the words that are causing people to jump into action, that are causing them to move and, and to, to be, you know, prepare themselves to walk into that destined place, that purpose place that God has designed for them? See, using your native language in a foreign land doesn't work too well. In fact, sometimes the people there, they'll get upset because they're saying, hey, you came over here, you should have learned something. So, the voice of the kingdom is pretty much what's being required of the church right now especially. Because if we want people to act, if we want to raise up disciples, you know, uh, encourage people to evangelize, to be able to speak to their own peers, to their own communities, to their families, then guess what? The language that we have to be speaking is the message of the kingdom. Is the language of the kingdom. Not running people away. No, we want people to come in. So listen, when we get ready to open our mouths, let's make sure the verbiage that we're using is not our native tongue, but that of the Father. All right, guys, listen. This has been Pastor Rod, and you know what? Thank you again for listening in. And you know what? I'm going to show you this one more time. I know I showed you this uh, yesterday, but I'm going to show you this again. Look. Bow. That's the men. Look. Bow. See the blingage? See the blingage? That's the women. Please, please, please get your I Love the Place t-shirt. We want everyone to have these shirts on during our official launch party because it's going to actually be a party, y'all. It's going to actually be a party. We're going to have a DJ uh, band, all of that good stuff. And it's going to be live at 5. It's not going to start at 5 o'clock, but you understand what I'm saying. But uh, listen, go ahead and go to the, to the website, www.theplaceworship.com or .org. Either one will get you to the place. All right? Listen, guys, this has been Pastor Rod. I'll holler at you tomorrow. All right? Peace.